All right, and I, I think we still got Bao here. Bao, you still here? I fell asleep, but yep. <laughs> I'll bet. You yeah, freaking set those fantasy orders there. I, I didn't need you to show me how to edit your photo, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you definitely didn't. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to bring on Joe Kelly as well. And uh, it's going to be me, Joe, and Bao. And ask any questions that you guys want. This is your time to shine. We're going we're gonna to help you guys right now. And I'll get to your DMs after. Who's got some questions for us on the guys on YouTube Live and the guys in the in our chat? Who's got questions? Hit us, hit us. Turkey recipes. Turkey. <laughs> oh, that's for Joe specifically. Hit Joe. Hey, so, yeah. so who's deep frying a turkey? <laughs> that you, I hope you do it outside, not inside your house and burn it down. <laughs> Every year I see that shit on TV. I'm like, what the fuck? Deep fried a turkey inside the house. <laughs> Bow and everyone else works too hard for us guys. Got to respect it. Dude, oh my God, nobody, nobody sees the level of work we put in, man. There's so much behind the scenes, dude, back end stuff. You guys have no idea, bro. We don't sleep, dude. We don't sleep. We feel like we've been doing MIC for 15 years already. We're two years in. What up, boys? There he is. What's up, brother? I'll give you a turkey recipe, Bow. This is going to be a sexual reference. I know it. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Wait for it. I'm waiting for the punchline. <laughs> I got one too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to exchange recipes. Am I the only one who doesn't have one? I'm clean of heart, dude. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Here, someone posted this in after hours. This is a smoked turkey. <laughs> Dude, who, who, made a, who made a caricature of Faye? That's great. <laughs> smoked turkey. I like that. Oh, man. You guys are sick in the head, dude. Joe, what do you what do you got planned for which, uh, which, holidays, man? What which you, body part of the turkey you like the best? <laughs> I personally am a fan of the breasts. <laughs> Just... <laughs> oh, dude, I'm a thigh guy myself. <laughs> You like the dark meat or the white? Meat? <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that light meat breast. Feels like white you know. meat only. <laughs> Don't you like the bone? <laughs> All right, man. We think we're getting down to it. I think I'm fucking reaching my. Does this recipe include the POV angle? Oh my God. <laughs> this is no longer a trading webinar. <laughs> it's not even an MIC webinar. Oh, dude, before we do this, let's, uh, let's talk about the, the deal before people fall asleep, Tosh. Guys, so what we're doing, I, ha I had a big talk Black about Friday. This is, this is our Black Friday before we leave, guys. I just wanted dude, to tell you guys. Dude, we, me, Bow, and Alex got together this morning, and we had a big talk, man. We were like, you know what, dude? Here's let's... the sale, and customer service is closed. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the sale, and nobody can sign up. Go to Turkey Week. Yeah. <laughs> dude, we are actually doing a massive discount across the board of annual, a bundle deal of annual and accelerator, and also so lifetime so you guys have three options right now to get them at massive discounts only for black friday it's going to last literally dude and probably not even until tomorrow um if you guys have questions you gotta text me this okay text, text tosh that's the best way to do it i'm gonna post the numbers out and, and what we're doing guys is alex made it very clear D dude in 2021 we are actually raising prices man so right now i can guarantee you you're never gonna get annual or lifetime or even a bundle deal with accelerator cheaper than what you're gonna get right now because dude we're not fucking around in 2021 man we've almost been too nice dude so 2021 Gosh. price increases are coming seriously Tosh, uh, there's also another reason for the price increase is every Saturday that we've been doing a weekend mentoring, um, where we do like a chat text type of weekend mentoring, that format will be changing January 2021st. This is the first time we've ever talked about it. So if you want to talk about it, we can. Oh, and um, <laughs> it will go to a video format, what would basically be a round, uh, it'd be like a big round table of all the moderators and mentors coming in every week and uh, it'll be the members charts members get to submit their charts for review members get to submit their questions again live in that 
And then annuals and lifetimes will have the ability to answer and ask questions about the charts they submit live in that. So it's, it's, now it's is the so time to become a month. Now is the time to upgrade from monthly to annual or lifetime, or just go all in and annual or lifetime straight out of the gate. Because there's a lot of stuff coming January 2021. Dude, we, we are always innovating. We are always making sure, again, dude, we're, we're not pumping out useless fucking shit, dude. Like, like accelerator course part two and three and four for a cash grab, dude. We, at, we ask the members. We pay attention. I, to oh, my God. I don't know why, but I just had a panic attack when you said accelerator part two or three. I was like, what? I'm doing what? Oh, <laughs> it's coming, don't get, it's don't get to work right now. We need another one in the next one. <laughs> Dude, that took me six fucking months. I was like, that was. <laughs> the, the point is, guys, is we are always listening to what you need. So we don't create stuff to create. I think we, we, we create skip part two or three because they're going to call it part two. And you know what? Deuce oh, is. God. <laughs> I think I've heard that somewhere. <laughs> anyway. Part three, part menage a trois. Dude, so menage I'm, I'm telling you. Oh are you taking a shit? That's no, I'm sorry. Time. That was me. That, that was, was a number one. That was, was me. Like, I'm, I was yeah, like, I, 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 we're hosting Thanksgiving because uh, the Texas governor is not a communist like Governor Newsom. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> Uh, Governor Grusom. So I'm, dude, I, I've just been cleaning and organizing. I, you know what's funny is the only thing I have like spotless is the kitchen because that's like where I live, you know, like the rest of the house, the living room, everything else, you know, that's so, all I'm still looking so at. Joe's like, wife oh, actually goes out and work. Joe's at home. <laughs> yeah, Joe. <laughs> My <laughs> wife works for uh, the health insurance. Because <laughs> let me tell you guys, being a full-time J trader, it's overrated. You don't get health insurance with this fucking job. Dude, this is literally Joe Kelly at home, man. <laughs> He's not even a trader these days. He's just a brisket maker. <laughs> dude. Bro, I, for real. That's all I do. It's, I'm, I'm just in the kitchen constantly. Joe, in another life, dude, you're a fucking professional chef on like Master Chef and stuff. Dude, you got like my my son comes to me and he goes, uh, my son comes to me and he goes, Dad, can I have a grilled cheese? I was like, Yeah, sure, I'll make you grilled cheese. And then while I was making it, I was like, Damn, this sounds good. So I just fucking made myself a grilled cheese. <laughs> I was like, I haven't had grilled cheese in forever. And I'll bet you I'm it's like a Michelin star grilled cheese, dude, with like freaking teen crab legs baked in and shit like that. <laughs> No, but I did do the old, uh, you know, like they do on teppanyaki on the, uh, on the, uh, on the grill where they put the put the lid over the top of it so everything melts faster. I did do oh. that with the cheese. That way, that you know, you ensure you ensure a melted cheese. That's crucial to a grilled cheese. Just saying. Yeah, melty cook, cheese. Cooking talk is like, dude, uh, like uh, it's like Chinese to me, man. I just don't understand. <laughs> if you want to talk about golf. If, uh, has anybody got any stock questions? <laughs> so guys, look what look what Bow did today with small size office inconsistency right here. Dude, look at this. Lee, you're pushing 12 grand, right? This will be the last PL I'll post in a while, just doing this to show what is possible with small size and a relatively small account. Basically 35 to 40,000. You do not need millions to make money. Time to reset and wire out accounts and uh and then get dude build them right back up. So the point is, guys is every single week we're following the same process, right? Alex puts 35,000 in his account, builds it up to 50,000, wires out, does it rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, and Bao does a similar thing. So this is, these are the results, man. These are the results of process. These are the results of what we teach you. And the, and the funny thing is, is like, I'll get members every single day or, or someone looking in, right? Like a client of MIC, like a prospective client. And they'll be like, Tosh, do you guys teach everything or do you withhold information? I'm like, withhold information, dude. I'm like, we fucking teach you every part of process on how Bao got these numbers today or how Alex does what he does or I do what I – like, dude, you can literally go to new member channel and download my full process. Look at this. Let me show you this. Withhold information? What? Why would people even ask that question? I mean, what type of chat rooms are y'all joining? Dude, look at this. It, this is my full process, man. This is full fucking process. 
back to back, dude, I can show you chart examples and fills of trades that I've made and what I look for. If I'm talking about outer lines, this is what I'm talking about. Then I break that. This is a 30%. The reason why I wanted to show this is you guys need some examples that are really in depth and thorough, right? Dude, this is a stock where I talk about outer lines within a 30 to 70% rule. So I shorted outer lines. When I got the breakdown, you cover to pay yourself. And then I'm throwing on size because now we have a confirmed under like, dude, I'm showing you guys all the different kinds of plays, right? This is what it's about. You guys need to understand that we teach you everything of what we do in depth. Literally everything, bro. Everything. I was about to go to TJ Maxx and buy 40 black t-shirts again for Black Friday event. <laughs> now, I don't, I don't think anything will ever top, dude, the time that we were traveling. And I think it was Vegas where Bal was like, New York. Dude, no, New York. Was it? Are you sure? Because he was like, dude, I was so hungover. I packed my dirty laundry. <laughs> yeah, that's New York. That was New York. That was a stock because, exchange. Oh, yeah, because, um, because we, were supposed to, um, we were supposed to do dinner. And I text Alex and I was like, yo, where are you guys at? And me in Chicago, we're, we're sitting in a hotel room and we're just like, hey, do, 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 just waiting on you guys. And, uh, and then <laughs> Alex texts me back and he goes, we're at TJ Maxx. And I was like, what? TJ, I would, you know, I would expect like, oh yeah, we're at Versace. Oh yeah, we're at Gucci. We're buying a shirt at nah, TJ Maxx. Dude, so funny, right? It's uh, Dude, it, was, it, it was like this, man. I was so, so hung the night before. I packed my dirty clothes to go to the New York Stock Exchange. I didn't fucking have an outfit for the New York Stock Exchange. <laughs> <laughs> Next door to the new st uh, New York Stock Exchange was a TJ Maxx, and so we went in there. And I was like, "Holy fuck, man! I found my head in here." Twenty dollars. Oh I, I bro, I swear to God, I was in I was in Macy's one time in Vegas with Val, and we were both looking for a shirt for dinner, right? Like we're there, like getting nice dress shirts. And bro, he spent two hours in there. He was like, "Man, fuck all this fancy shit. Why don't they have just a normal black shirt like TJ Maxx?" <laughs> and then he goes to TJ Maxx, and he's crazy, man. He's crazy. But the point is is we just have fun man life's an adventure man life's an adventure in and outside of mic <clears throat> Who is i think everybody's gone for life? the holidays oh my god bro so listen to this pontus dude he's like that's a lot of ebay tabs dude bow posted something the other night he did a tweet where these fucking pokemon cards are selling for three to four hundred thousand dude i went on ebay and i checked out all these fucking shit dude can you believe like I almost made a tweet the other day. I was like, the way to diversify your money in 2020 is to own real estate, own dividends, own some stocks long-term and Pokemon cards. Dude. I was like, what? Beanie world? Babies and Pokemon cards. Bro, a freaking Pokemon cards selling for $300,000 on eBay. I was like, what world do we live in, man? Yeah, what world we live in where we stock traders sit here on their fucking ass and click buttons and make 12 grand. <laughs> <laughs> make $58,000. That kind of world. Same shit, guys. The, the point is, you can all do this. Everybody can do this, guys. I post this stuff. Alex posts this stuff. This is very realistic. We're not walking around with million-dollar accounts here, guys. I'm pretty sure you guys have bigger accounts than this $38,000 account I used to make five grand a day, right? The point is, it, it just follow the process. Where I lose, where people lose, is when they deviate from their process. First of all, many people do not even have a process. They think gambling or random trading is how they make money. The stock market is not random. We go in here, we pull out money every single day. I'm not, I'm not joking, guys. Knock on wood. I only lose when I deviate, when I stick around, when I break the zombie rules, things like that. Look at Alex, man. He maybe has two losses a month, and those losses are like $1,000 a day. Well, and, and like, Bell, remember yesterday, dude, guys, we gave a really big webinar where Alex was showing, dude, Alex was showing losses from, like, 2015, and if you notice, some of his losses were like 32 grand. And dude, we even said, I was like, Alex, I know you inside now. Dude, I know 100% of your process inside now. I said, dude, I will bet you in 2015, that $32,000 loss was because you shorted after zombie hour. You see what I'm saying? Like he will never take a $32,000 loss before zombie hour because we have a process. But if you stay and over trade and you don't use hard stops that negate our process, you're dead. So nowadays... Alex will make 1.4 million in a year and his biggest fucking loss in eight months or 12 months, dude, is like, is like four grand. He makes that every single day. You see what I'm saying? Like he won 5,700 a day. That's a normal day. <laughs> Wait, what's Bao saying? Mystical numbers. Bao's, <laughs> Bao's equity looks like the end of his order bank. 
As long as there's eights in it. Dude, I'm so superstitious sometimes. I, I, hate, the numbers, I, hate, I hate the number six. I lose money on purpose just so I don't fucking see a six on there. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm all about eights, man. Eights abundance in numerology. Eight? Everything eight is tied to money. Yeah, eight is a Chinese lucky number, money. Oh, I didn't know that. I just know it from like U.S. based numerology, literally. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm telling you about my PL. So <laughs> you know what's fucking funny? I was like fifty dollars away from six thousand. I'm trying to desperately find a fucking trade, and I'm losing like a hundred bucks. <laughs> but <laughs> but I, I I I I wanted to do that on purpose to show you. You know, man, there's so many times where you just want to round off and do stupid shit like that. Yeah. And, and then you end up losing thousands of dollars trying to make fifty bucks. Wait, Bao, what is what does a six mean in Chinese? It, it, what does that mean? Six is the devil number in America. Oh, oh, gotcha. Okay, that's what you're going about. Because I was like, I've never heard that on the, oh, okay, six, 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 I heard, but like just a one, six? No, I, I am, a, I'm American and I'm Asian, so I'm, I'm stuck in so many superstitions. <laughs> Bao's got like a freaking who's who collection of all these superstitions. I love it. Every, every number is bad and every number is good. <laughs> 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 like look at face six, six a good number six 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 is the fucking devil in america dude i'm telling you whatever Faye says i just believe in so if Faye says it i believe in it Faye, just tell me what you like by the end of the day and i'll just copy you <laughs> i just hey, think i think hey, any, you know, i it, think any positive number in your pnl is a good number yeah. <laughs> so, i was like no nah, dude i'd rather be negative eight thousand than plus six <laughs> I the, know, the number like, the yeah. number four i hate too because in chinese it's death and so you go to China and these Asian places, they don't have the, the, the fourth floor. Just like some America oh, uh, what the hotels, hell? they don't have the 13th floor, bro. There's no 13th floor. Oh, my floor. God. Dude, I didn't know that. That's crazy. Oh, my God. Four is death and 13 is bad, right? So a lot of hotels don't have 13. Dude, oh my God! One of my my, my uh, that's so funny. I've got six and eights peppered throughout my personal phone number. This is my business line, but dude, my profession, my personal phone number is literally all six and eights. That's hysterical. Yeah, mine's a bunch of fours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joe Kelly, dude, you better not build a fourth floor to your house, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, right? Yeah, you're done, yeah, my, dude. My phone number's a bunch of fours. Damn it. My friend bought an 888 number. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, rich, rich people in Asia, man, they, they, they have so much fucking money, they don't know what to do with it. They, they end up auctioning and buying off phone number numbers. You know, like the more eights in it, the more expensive it is. Like someone has eight, 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 like a million bucks or something like that. Holy shit, dude, they didn't stop at Pokemon cards? They went with phone numbers? <laughs> no. Dude, wow. Chinese people can reprint Pokemon cards. They need those. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, dude! You, apparently, you can flip anything in this world, dude. Even a phone number. I didn't even know that. <laughs> okay, so look at look at the YJ in the day is spiked up. So basically, you know what, man, guys, trade trading is about taking money when it's most optimal. Squeezing out another hundred dollars, two hundred dollars is not going to do anything for you, but you risk a huge chance of losing a chunk back. So that that was the lesson of the. That's why Bow covered, guys. That's the 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 higher lows. You got to pay attention to that shit, man. You got to be diligent. Any other questions, guys? Uh, oh, let's talk about that thing one more time. So everyone needs to text Kosh because, you know, this three-day thing is coming to an end, guys. The guys that are – we want to help everybody. This is not just for the guys that are uh, new. Current existing MIC members can save too and, and just hit up Tosh. Tosh is going to spend his whole entire – weekend answering phones <laughs> <laughs> dude i'm telling you man my phone does not stop so if you guys get a get a text that's a little late it's because 30 people are in front of you man but i will get to you um and here's the thing man i'm telling you keep it simple for me guys if you are a black friday promo right now and you want to become a full-time member please text me black friday if you are already a member, text me 2020 Black Friday discount and I will know that you're already a member and we can talk about whatever your needs are, whether that's the accelerator course, whether it's going from monthly annual, whether it's getting a bundle deal of accelerator. Uh, I, I, I want to do a quick poll. How many of you guys are new trial members? Can you just uh, raise your hand or do just type new? new yeah, give, give us a thumbs up like this. Give us a thumbs up. Add a reaction or something. If you guys are middle. Or a middle finger if you don't like this. <laughs> we want to see who, who actually attended this webinar, guys. And it's just not me, Tosh, and Joe talking to one another. We're talking to all the lifetime members who've seen this 10,000 times. <laughs> and let me ask you, how do you guys think so far? We want to – let's talk about that real quick. 
uh, before we leave. The, the guys are the free trial. What do you guys think so far? What do you guys think? <laughs> Stock Slayer, lifetime member. Guys, what do you think of MIC? Seriously, give us your feedback. We want to we want to hear from you, man. We're always looking to be improved, be better, understand your needs. Looks like we and got the, a lot of thumbs. The guys are the guys are lifetime. We have a special afterlife promotion coming up. <laughs> <laughs> so when you know when you're dead, you can still talk to me because I'll be dead long before you. Dude, that was all Faye. She was like, five thousand dollars is too cheap for a lifetime membership. She's like, I'll pay you fifteen. I was like, well, shit, <laughs> we charged it way too low. <laughs> Afterlife. That's because Faye made like freaking ten billion dollars in the first month of her trading. <laughs> yeah, you did. How much you make this week, Faye? Faye, what are you up to? Thirty thousand now. <laughs> She's been trading for not even one year, man. How many bars of gold did you make this week? Just, just tell us the number, Faye. Come on. I, I, I live vicariously through you. Love it better than any other service I've been in. Learning a lot already. Oh, I'm look at Faye. Point. She made 9,100 bucks. Hey, Dude, make another 900. That is the after, afterlife program. Oh, uh, is that all, Faye? <laughs> I beat Faye? Holy fuck. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Now, do we like these numbers? Is, are these good numbers? Hey, I don't know. Faye should lose 300 bucks and just make it an even 8,000. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Faye, if you give me $300, you're going to be feeling pretty good. You hey, it looks like... <laughs> now, Alex is done with you, bro. He's long Faye. He's short bow, full size. Seriously, dude. Seriously. Bro, I swear to God, whatever Faye says, I just I just agree nowadays. I don't even have to fact check it. Faye is the end all be all. Seriously, dude. And Faye, you know, Faye has a full time job, guys. Just like a lot of you guys, like most of us, you know, I have a full time job. MIC, my full time <laughs> we, job. Yeah, full time job. Seriously. And I think she, I think you made more trading part time, Faye, than you did full time your job. I believe nine thousand. That would put you on a pace for thirty six thousand a month. Which is holy shit, almost half a million a year. Okay, we won't we won't extrapolate that much. I just have very good math. So Faith's gonna get a lot of uh, marriage proposals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. guys can be gold diggers too, man. <laughs> Fuck, dude, I'm just like... <laughs> dude. Im imagine, like, could you imagine, man? I, every girl, a girlfriend I've had for thirty years, dude, I like have to bankroll their ass, dude. I'm like, could you imagine just having a girl take care of you? I was like, oh shit, that might be nice. <laughs> I can just take care of MIC all day, have her cover all the freaking seafood towers and steak dinners for Alex. Seriously. Hey, you have a great job, Faye, man. She works really hard and she's, you know what the best part? She helps members. That's the, that's, that's the, that's the best thing, man. We, we love to joke about Faye, but she is basically someone that put in work, watch the videos three times, every single video. You know, if you want to get to Faye's level and, and when did you join Faye? My God, you joined just like six months ago, eight months ago, something ridiculous. Like dude, she, Faye hasn't even been trading for an entire year yeah, yet. Like 31st, dude. So imagine? she spent the first few months just watching videos and learning. I didn't even know she existed. And then one day she started posting giant PLs. I'm like, where the hell did this girl come from? <laughs> no, bro, it was, it, Bal, it was so funny, dude, because like when Faye was first a member, bro, she literally hit me for every single. So she started off as a monthly member. And within like, I think like three or four days, she hit me up to be an annual. And then like four days later, she was like, Tosh, I'm making so much money and you guys are priced too low. I let's let's talk about- I thought it was a challenge. joke. <laughs> let's talk about the challenge real quick. Faye, can you get on the mic? I want, I want her to explain this Yo, challenge. Can, I, I love this idea. One sec. Or, me, or, uh, or are you next to Joe right now in his house? <laughs> get on the mic. <laughs> Faye, you can unmute and mute yourself now if you want to talk. You don't need makeup for this, Faye. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you get that T pain of auto tuner. <laughs> <laughs> makeup for your voice. Faye's DMs after this webinar. <laughs> Faye's marriage proposals. <laughs> Dude, that's the 90 day fiance shit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> <laughs> bro this this is gonna be my phone when people realize that lifetime is ex exponentially low this week versus what it's gonna be in 2021 this is gonna be my text thread if you join lifetime i'll i'll get you guys a special uh 
No, I won't go there. Oh. <laughs> What were you gonna say about like a date with Faye? <laughs> That's priceless. Uh, you should be able to now, Faye. We can't hear you. You make her a, a person? I mean, like moderator just, or whatever. Yeah, let me just make her a panelist. So tell us how you did. You, so the guys are new here. You, this is a treat for you, man. Just uh, exactly how she did it. I mean, this is a phenomenal. Record this, Tosh. We want to play this again. Yep, we're definitely recording. How she watched the videos, to, uh, you know, tell us the, the order that you did it. And because, dude, we want to replicate this process. And that's what Faye is doing right now. Can't hear you, Faye. Uh, we cannot yet. Is she a panelist? Yep, she's a panelist. I think you might have to unmute yourself, Faye. There's someone asking a question. How do you schedule a call? You just wait for the moderator to say, hey, I'm available. Or you, you directly DM the moderator and ask them, hey, when can I get a call? Yep. Dude, unlike other services, our DMs are open, guys. But do not abuse it. But, but these other people will never respond to you. Good luck getting one of those big guru guys to ever talk to you, dude, man. Or one word answers, man. It's like they answer you and they make you feel like you're an idiot. And it's like, dude, I'm sorry. I'm paying for your membership. I need help. Like I'm, I'm here to answer a question or I'm here to ask a question. Dude, we can't hear you. you, you you've been on before. So you, she knows how to connect, right? So yeah, she should be able to go. Joe, what do you think? You're always the man behind the scenes. You can probably... Because this is a special treat for everybody, man. Faye, Faye doesn't come on talk much like this, but this is this is. Uh... Might be a might be a. Um... Hmm. Plug in, Faye. Do the test. Uh... Maybe you should have to come back in. Get out and get back in. Um, that might work. Yeah, Faye, you're a panelist, and I allowed you to talk, so you should. Be, it should be on your end. So, anyway, uh, any questions on the YouTube channel? I, I'm not in there, so someone monitoring that. Guys, if you have questions, we still have a little bit of time for you. <laughs> it stands out in. Um, what's the weather like over there, Stan? Getting pretty cold, huh? Up in uh, Canada there. So we have people from around the world, guys. This is a great opportunity to meet people from your area. Maybe like hang out and talk stock. Time to network. Time to network. Dude, it is perfect weather right here in Arizona, man. It is like, it's like 77, man. You don't have an option. I give that to you. you there, that should be a microphone. Let me see. Shit. Let me, let me see. Shit. Can I post a photo here on you the hear? bottom left? Yeah, we heard you. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you in? Yep. I cool. hear you. You're good. Okay. Cool. So what do you want here? <laughs> Damn, you sound a little mean today. <laughs> I'm going to like, get to the point, sucker. <laughs> uh, well, and, and quick, quickly, you're, you're, your, you know, how you did it. You joined and then what you do? You watch the videos, just tell briefly, like. Hey, give us your story, Faye. Uh, so I joined January 31st and uh, I basically didn't have any idea of how trading works. It's because I had a huge mortgage, so I want to make more money. Uh, and uh, so I started with just watching videos like the first week I didn't really trade I just opened my account and just watch videos and I started trade with like 10 shares 20 shares the second week and uh, uh, while still watching videos and doing some back testing and after that I just start to size up a little because I found that bows like a long trading just works so well at first I was kind of like skeptical I was like how's this this easy that doesn't sound right but I just practiced that the way and also when I started I basically uh, just take notes of what I did well and what I didn't do well 
and also start to like set some rules for myself, like something I should not do because it doesn't fit my personality. And also when I started, I didn't know which one, like we teach a lot of different strategies. So I didn't know which one works for me. And I try to like, um, like I try to catch first red day and low hanging fruit and first bounce. Then I realized I'm really bad at long. So I just go with like low hanging fruit. That's the only one I was just working on. And uh, after that, basically just size up and to the point, like I feel very comfortable with 3000 shares. I actually tried 5,000 shares for like a week and I did make more money, but I felt like I was more anxious and nervous. So I just go back to 3000 shares. I'm still doing that. So you know what Faye did? She didn't just jump in and start trading and think she know everything. She watched the videos first, took notes. That's the key. Watch the videos, maybe probably a couple of times and took notes and then just watched us and read what we did and then started to paper trade, but she did with 20 shares instead. So you don't have to paper trade guys. Use tiny, tiny shares like she did. She said 20 shares to learn just to mimic how it works. A lot of you guys are losing money because you, you are just jumping the gun. So Faye did it very methodically. She leveled up slowly. She didn't just jump to 3,000 shares. You start with like 1,000 shares, right? Faye, 20 shares to like 500 shares. 20 shares, then like 100 shares, then 500, then 1,000. Exactly. And also yeah. like I did, the reason why I didn't paper trade is I actually did once, but I felt like if I don't trade my real money, I just don't care. And I have like uh, ultimate patience and uh, yeah, that is true. So I'll, I don't I'll, care. Give, I'll give someone advice. Okay. This is advice I got from a lot of top traders. Like one, they run big prop firms. What happens is you should not be stuck in paper trading simulator for more than two weeks. Because what happens after that is you, you develop bad habits through that. So the quicker you move to real money trading, the better. So use 20 shares. Like she says, use 50 shares, hundred shares, whatever it takes a small amount. And you know what? So what if you lose a little commission on a trade, $3, I mean, yeah. that's the cost of tuition, guys. Yeah, I agree. I think, like, I got a message, like, uh, how can you make money? Your low case back if you trade 20 shares. I don't, but that's, like, the tuition you got to pay before you can set up. And it's when like, you're locating, you're not locating 1,000 shares. You're locating 100 shares. So you're not losing that much money, guys. The, the guys point is, is the tuition, the cost of tuition. Dude, it equated to like, if you're going to a community college, man, you got to buy a book to go to the course to learn something. Like, this is the same shit, man. Seriously. Yeah, and when, about I, how, when, I, go ahead. Uh, when I set up, like, my, it's like one part is, yes, I need to be consistently making money. The other part is like, I need to feel confident with my lines, with my strategy, and I I need to feel less like stress free in order for me to set up. Remember guys, this is, this is all about your own pace. You know, she just happened to do her own pace. When you size up when it's comfortable, do not ask them when, when you should size up, you should know when to size up. You should be confident enough to size up to the next level yourself. Uh, and I want to tell you some confidence comes from doing something repeatedly over and over successfully, but you're not going to be successful every time, you know, so get that out of your head. So you have to be comfortable with taking the loss. So sizing up is not just about more money, more size. It's about more losses. You have to be comfortable with taking that size of a loss from going from a hundred shares to 500 to a thousand share losses. So that's why we talk about predefining your risk. Okay. You have to predefine your risk, meaning knowing when you're going to take the loss and how much it's going to cost. And that will answer your question when to size up. Because if your bankroll does not allow you to size up, you cannot size up. A lot of these guys size up too much, take two hits and they're out of the game. You don't want to do that either. And also it's like, uh, I think a hard stop had been like, helped me a lot. I think probably that's the reason why I'm consistent. I think that's one thing you have to use. I know some people are like, I use mental stop, but I tried it at least for me, it didn't work. Like you just keep feel like, okay, it will drop. It doesn't work for anybody. Yeah, I'm, I don't I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, man, Faye, you, you, 
this is the thing people always tell me, man. They, they said, Bal, I, I'm not going to join MIC until I learn more about trading. That's the wrong attitude. Or make what the to, money elsewhere. To no, because it, it, it's the habits, man. Faye started with no bad habits. She used hard stops right from the beginning. The people that don't use hard stops was trading on them by themselves. They have a ha bad habit of using mental stops. If, if you started the right way, you have to do it by phase way. Hard stops because you don't know any other way. I'm telling you, the bad habit I had was I didn't even know there was a hard stop to begin with. I never used it because no one taught me. If MIC taught me, I wouldn't have blown a lot of the accounts because I would have set the, the max loss and things like that. So guys, you want to learn as quickly as you can the right way so that you don't have to unlearn the bad habits. I think the reason why I joined MIC is like I – saw uh i follow bow's twitter for a while and uh he's probably the only trader i see like don't like preach like i'll teach you how to make one million dollar a day but he's talking about consistent like four thousand dollars a day you make a million dollar i think that fits with my personality like i don't have the mentality of i want to make a million dollar i want to be rich tomorrow but it's more trading to me it's similar to making salary it's my daily salary Exactly right, man. That, that, is, that, that is the secret to me, too, because when, back in the day when I started out, I was like, I want to get rich quick. When I thought people were making, if, I thought that you, in order for you to make 100000 a year, you had to swing up and down 5000 a day, 10000 a day, because I, I thought it was all random gambling. But then I realized it's not. It's through consistency, it builds up. And take a look at that chart I said. Man, all you need to do is make $100 a day. It will change your life. Because what happens is $100 a day, like Tosh says, is a blueprint to making $1,000 a day. The path to making $1,000 a day is you have to be consistent making 100 bucks a day. Dude, hell oh, yeah, man. See the question about how many hours a day I watch video. So I have a job that allows me to work from home whenever. Like even in January, it wasn't uh, required. Uh, my company has already let us work from home. So I basically didn't do much work for that week. I just watch videos. Uh, and for backtesting, like, um, I used the TOS for a little, but because everything is hard to borrow on it, um, one way I do backtesting is I write down the lines. I think that will be good. And it uh, doesn't matter if I trade that ticker on that day or not. After the market close, I will go back, uh, look at my plans and compare to the lines and see what happened. Hey, you're a rock star. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. You just need to study. Like it has everything. Well, there's already. no yeah, and there's no reason to quit your job or your career. Like, why would you, man? Because the dude, I've I've literally had guys message me, man, and I actually did this a long time ago. Is dude, when you when you sit in front of the screens eight hours a day with nothing else to do because you don't have a job or a purpose or a passion besides trading or a career, dude, you're going to lose money, man. I don't care how consistent you are because you just feel like you can make more, make more. Make. It's good to be busy. Learn to get into a point like Bao, Alex, or myself, or Faye, where all you need is 30 minutes a day to make money or the first hour to maybe the first two hours. If you want to, if you're so good at short in the morning, then you switch bias for the zombie moves like Aloha and Harry Haas where they can tackle both and then dude like go have a life outside the screens like you can get to a point where you can live a, you just need an hour a day Alex made 1.4 million dollars a year whatever he's at 1.2 1.4 and it's you know it's only November and dude he trades an hour a day like literally Alex is only here in front of screens because we're taking care of MIC he would show up and trade for an hour a day and then go live a whole nother life. He, he could be a real estate tycoon if he devoted all his time that you have a full day. He doesn't want to stay and give back that 1.4 million by trading all day and, and trying to do stuff that maybe he's not necessarily good at. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, and also because I have a job, um, I set my daily maximum loss to my daily salary. So it's kind of helped me to reduce emotion. Like if I lose more than that, I probably, if I don't have a daily job, I probably will feel like, okay, I just lost the $500 a day and uh, I don't have any income today. But if I actually keep my job, I will feel like, okay, tomorrow's the next day, I will restart.
and I don't feel like I need to revenge or I need to make more than yesterday in order to make up the loss. That's good discipline. Yeah, yeah. Just set rules in place, set barriers, set, you know, hard stuff in and outside of life, right? Like, that's a great idea. I love that. So you guys can just, again, man, everybody's on their own journey. Don't compare yourself to Faye. Don't compare yourself to anybody, but use it as a roadmap and see the potential of what you can be. If you see Alex's P&L yesterday at 58000 and you look at your P&L of $50, that's not to discourage you guys. That's to say, hey, man, maybe one day I can get to that point, but I'm not going to discourage myself right now because I'm not there yet. So everybody's on their own path. Everybody has a different level of risk. But as Bao said, man, you can't crutch yourself. And if, if you're on paper account after two years of trading, dude, that, that might be actually why you're continually losing is because you don't actually have a system or a process set. So you need to go to small size real money and pay that market tuition to get the experience because you need the experience. So. Yeah. And it's like Bao has been trading for, I don't know, 20 years. Are you that old, but about that age? <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? Freaking Bao looks as old as Bram does. And I think Bram's in his early 20s, right, Bram? <laughs> like, <laughs> Bao's on the freaking fountain of youth, man. <laughs> me and Alex look like we're freaking 100 compared to Bao. <laughs> 18. <laughs> Bram, Bao's your Vietnamese brother, man. <laughs> He's 19. <laughs> it's really no point in comparing at as long as you're doing better than yourself yesterday, that's good. Thank you. That is that is what we preach at MIC. And here's the thing I was telling Faye this morning, guys, is I said, I was actually giving Faye like serious props. I was like, Faye, you truly are the epitome of why we created MIC. You have to understand, MIC was created from traders who already made it trading that were like, dude, how can we create a legacy that really helps people and teach people what we have learned and can pass on? So Faye is not only discipline. She came in humble. She came in skeptical. How perfect is that? She came in skeptical and was like, dude, I don't know if this works, but I'm gonna give it a try. Was patient, was disciplined, took it slow, mastered what she's good at, and then passed the elevator back down and is now killing it. And dude, I, I, I mean, that was the whole reason why MIC is created, man. It's like, it's like, we're so proud of her. Cause it's like, fuck man, we wish that level of success for all you guys, seriously. So I think if you're, you still don't know, if you want to draw an MSC, just try this three day free trial and then just watch a few videos. Like I have this study plan. I know not everybody has access to the accelerator course, but if you just take a look at this study plan and just watch a few videos, you will see how much information you will get from there. Guys, and this, and this is limited, man. Bao and Alex opened this up for like a, like dude, like a couple more like spots or, or, or today, but dude, this is not, I, I promise you we're not doing this again. This will not be open. I don't even know, dude, if this is going to open, be open by the end of the day. So you have a three-day free trial. You got to sign up, dude. I, I, there's just no excuse for not even trying it for free. There's no excuse. There's no fucking excuse, dude. And also, like, I join as monthly because I didn't know if MSC is a good one or if I can learn anything from it. And after watch a few videos, like after a week, I just contact Tosh, like give me any member. Then after another week, I'm like, okay, I don't think I will be able to watch everything by this year ends or if I can just learn enough to the point I feel like I will not need it. So I just upgrade it to a lifetime. Bro, Faye, Faye was straight up pestering me for upgrades. She was looking for an upgrade past lifetime. I was like, listen, chill. You did it. You mastered it. We're good. You've paid all you need to pay. <laughs> Dude, she kept wanting more and more. I was like, and then she's trying to marry Joe and all that, but Joe's already married. She's trying to get everything, bro. <laughs> yeah, all I want is Joe, but. All she wants is Joe. <laughs> Holy shit. But we do raise prices every single year, guys, because look, we stated we're two years and about a quarter now, not even maybe, but two years old, we're babies. But we had said from minute one, we are going to price ourselves to a point where it is affordable for everybody, but we are going up yearly because this was the original plan to give people enough time. Dude, if our competitors are charging $5,000 for a useless package that includes one year and you guys can't sign up for $18.90 on the annual or I'll throw you a deal on the lifetime, which is somewhat reasonable compared to what they're charging for a year. Dude, it's insane. Like, are you kidding? It's somewhat comparable, dude. And, and we give a lifetime. Like the, the, the connection here is like, dude, and then you guys are, you guys, 
I'm telling you, man, I, you just got to give MIC a chance. We have a free trial going on right now for a very limited time. And for the guys that do have the resources and or want to commit to their full-time career and full-time at MIC and be here for many years to come, dude, Lifetime's going to be the way to go. And it's it's priced about as cheap as you're ever going to get it right now. Probably, probably the lowest we've done in a really, really long time. And I'm also new trader. So if you just join as a new trader, just message me. Um, and probably I can feel how you feel better than other people who trade for like 10 years. Faye's DMs now. <laughs> Faye, you just- Just don't ask me if I'm single, okay? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't. <laughs> nothing of her relationship, <laughs> nothing sexual, just trading related. <laughs> If you want to know she's single, send her your pay stub, your net worth. Send it to me. I will filter it and let her know. So, <laughs> we'll, and, we'll, and you have to be a lifetime member first before you get out. <laughs> <laughs> that, this is now a dating service for lifetime members. Dude, you don't want to ask me if I'm single. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, Bow's married to his trading computers. He doesn't have any time for women. <laughs> He's, he's, I have time. I just don't get women. <laughs> he's married to 43 inches. I, I, I need to set up a new service, man. Traders are just all guys. So we have a, a special promotion. Girls get half price. <laughs> Girls get 75% off. And you'd still get like three signups because there's no girls. <laughs> Why did I get that 75% signup? Well, no, see, that's now. 2025 Friday. <laughs> Sorry, Faye. That ends in 20 minutes. Oh man, this is fun, man. But do you guys have seriously any closing questions? I mean, we could wrap up the webinar right now, but I need, I have a lot of DMs I need to get to. But uh, happy, happy Thanksgiving, guys. Appreciate everything. Seriously. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. The mods, the members, everybody. So enjoy your Thanksgiving. Guys, Ruby. seriously, happy Thanksgiving. Happy holidays to everybody. Um, study up, spend time with family. Don't just study all weekend. Spend some time with your family, man. But you can obsess over charts next week. Uh, if you don't have family, there's MIC families. After hours, it's going to be open. That's a, really, that's a really, that's honestly a really good way to say it, man. Seriously, guys, we're a family in here. Oh, let's welcome this new member. Um, and if you guys want to come in, the three-day trial, uh, that is ending extremely soon. Like I said, text Black Friday if you are a, a, a trial guy right now or a trial girl and you want to become a full-time member, meaning monthly in your lifetime. If you are a monthly member right now or an annual text 2020 Black Friday discount and I will give you the drop dead lowest Black Friday prices we are doing uh, before we price raise in 2021. You will not get lower this for this for the rest of the year. So actually probably ever. So guys, um, text me, enjoy your days, and uh, thanks for coming. Seriously, thanks for showing up. You can ask Tosh whatever you want, including the single. <laughs> I am single. <laughs> all you guys out there, hit up all, Tosh. Ew, all you guys out there. I got a separate, I got a separate line for the ladies. <laughs> all right, guys. This has right, been guys. fun. Hey, happy, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Yeah. I'll see you guys. Thank you guys. See you guys. Right. Catch see you later. Guys.